For two museums opened up in response to the terror attacks of 9-11. The National September 11th Memorial Museum opened in 2011. But years before, a much smaller museum helped Americans process the terror of that day and remember the victims. Opened in 2006, the 9-11 Tribute Museum is now on the verge of shutting down. Paul Gerke is live there with more. Paul? Good morning, Adrian. The biggest difference between those two museums, the one you're familiar with, the Remembrance Museum, the memorial, is for the victims, those who died on 9-11. This place is for the survivors, keeping their stories alive by retelling them and sharing what happened on that day with the public. Every artifact in this place has an extremely personal touch, like this pew from St. Paul's Church. These scratches you see here were left by the equipment of firefighters who slept on these benches while working 18-hour shifts while trying to clean up from the mess of 9-11. This place is filled with things like this, and it's a shame it's going to shut down because tourism stopped during the pandemic. They just can't get people in the doors. But volunteers keep coming here. Gordon Hui is a docent here at the museum. You have a very personal connection. Would you mind sharing it with us as we look around and sort of show off some of the other really human connecting elements in this place? Sure. I'm what we call a triple. I'm the only recorded triple in the history of uh, New York City as it relates to 9-11. I'm a survivor. I'm a family member. I'm also a rescue worker all in one. And over here, probably this one over here, see this vest here? This is uh, from a Costco worker in New Jersey. And this shows what America is all about. She, her name is uh, Terry Love. She came to work wearing a few pins on her vest. As people heard more about her, they kept bringing in their pins and they placed it on her vest. And before you know it, it accumulated this. And we felt that this is symbolic of what America is all about. And you have a very personal connection to 9-11 that you mentioned, not just as a survivor having been here, but you lost your sister in one of the towers. That is correct. Susan died on the 106th floor of Tower 1. And that's her actually in this room here. If you notice in this room, you're surrounded by hundreds and hundreds of pictures. But on 9-11-2001, we lost 2,749. And as sobering as the site is over here, this is only a tiny representation of all that we lost. And you see, that's Susan right there, underneath that fire truck over there, right there. In the red and black in the check? Red, yep, in, in that plaid outfit. Yeah, that's Susan. And below her is Jennifer. We lost two people from our church down in Chinatown. Uh, Gordon, unfortunately, we've got to wrap it up, but if you could just leave a message for our viewers watching at home, any desperate plea to keep this place open, I know it breaks your heart to see it shut down. Once our stories are gone, I was, and it's gone forever, the beauty about this is the 350 docents here. We are the um, artifacts of this museum, and we are the ones to, who will be able to tell you what it's like to be down here. We are the witnesses, and I know our sh shelf lives are very, very short. I know I have multiple cancers, and I'm going to be gone soon. And many of the docents here, they're going to be gone soon. That's why we want to tell as many people as possible about this museum. Uh, it would be such a travesty because we believe in that, that two words, never forget. And that resonated through our country for 20 years. And now it seems like everyone's forgotten. Gordon, thank you so much for sharing your morning with us and sharing oh some gosh. of these stories. Adrian, back to you in Chicago. What a beautiful man. I just hope that so many people give to keep this museum alive. Thank you so much, Paul. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.